Hi and welcome to KissPhonics.com. My name is Kissy and I'm here to offer you support on how to create a, uh, sub users in your group account. So if you purchased a group account from our website, in this case a one year group account for two to ten users. Let's say you are a teacher and you have a couple of students that you want to give unique passwords to. It's not advisable to give your main password um, to students or to sub users in your account. So go to the sub users tab and click on that. You will be given the option to create a new record. Now put in the desired name of this uh, user you want to add to this account. Let's say my student's name is Mary and um, I want her username to be Mary so it's easy for her to remember, I'll put in the username Mary. Password could be maybe Mary5. Or if you don't want to do that, you can let our system generate the password by clicking this button. But I'm just going to leave it at Mary5. Then I will put in the name Mary, and maybe Mary's name is Mary Chen, and I'm going to put that information there. Then email. I will put Mary's real email, but if you don't have Mary's real email, it's okay to put your own email there. So let's say the email is mary at um, gmail.com. So she gets the information, but if you can write it down and hand it to the student, then there's no point doing this. But with email, that information will be sent directly to the user. So let's save that. Now, if you go to this um, uh, section, you will find that the record has been created for Mary. So right now I have two students under my group account. They have their unique passwords and they can log in separately without using my main master password. So this is how you create sub users. Let's say I don't want Jimmy here anymore. Jimmy is no longer my student. I don't want them to have access. I can go in there and just delete Jimmy's record. You really want to delete this record? Click yes to continue. Now I have one student. You also have the option of creating another record. Um, you can edit the information that you put in there. You can delete users. And um, let's try to log into the website using the information from Mary. So um, which we just created. So I'm going to let me do that on another browser. So if Mary is on our site, um, she can simply log in with the name Mary and Mary5 and click login there. Mary is now logged in, so Mary has full access to our website. This is how group accounts on kissphonics.com work. If there are any questions, drop me an email. I'll be glad to help you out. Bye.